love the internet. I'm the Brain the Canvas, and today I'm gonna show you my Gryffindor look. On the Gryffindor crest from Harry Potter, it's pretty much just a lion, but a Gryffindor is actually a hybrid between a lion and an eagle. And to make this design more interesting, I'm going to incorporate those two aspects into this. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the lion features and then we'll move on to the eagle ones. When making thin lines, I like to use an angled brush like this. Oh, look at me hand modeling. I'm gonna start from my eyebrow, follow the curve down, and then kind of go out. Normally when I contour, I do the line more up here following where the tip of my brush is, but I'm bring it down just a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw on the nose. It's not gonna go up, it's gonna be pretty much like a tip. The only reason I'm letting you see this close up of my nose is because I trust you. So basically you're tracing around your nose and then bringing it down into your cupid's bow. And then you see where there's kind of that dimple or divot in your nose, you're gonna connect that down. So it kind of curves a little bit. Now transition at the lines. We're going to fade out to a lighter brown and then on the edges for the contouring. Now we're going on Now we're gonna move on to the gold. Why did I say it like that? For the eyes, I'll be using a nice rich gold for the lid, a shimmery bronze for the crease, and a light almost silver for the highlight on top. We're going to frame all the way around the eye, do a bit of a cat eye, and a little bit of the tear stain coming down here. We have our line aspects, and now we're gonna move on to the eagle part, which means You win. With spirit gum, you want to allow it to dry just a little bit on your face so it tackies up. You don't want to apply anything right away because the spirit gum will be too smooth and it will just slide off. Honey on my face, honey on my face. Poober would be jealous I have honey on my face. You do want some of the bone or the center of the feather to be intact. So you don't want to cut it too close to the tip, but at the same time you don't want it too long because you still want room for other feathers to overlap. All right, so I just wanted to show you, you do want there to be a little bit of abstraction going offness of the highlight feathers, but you still want to be kind of on that line. Whereas you see this, it's just a straight line, it doesn't look right. Last, we're gonna do the line lips. So we're gonna do a dark lip for the top to kind of give the idea of the muzzle, and then a light gold for the bottom. One other detail is you're gonna bring that top lip out just a little bit following uh, the crease of your lip. And now you are a proper Gryffindor. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please let me know by clicking on that thumbs up button down below and also subscribe so you can be notified when my videos come out because I don't even know when they come out. Thank you so much and I will see all of you lovelies next time. Bye.